for faith book, the book of faith, the word of God, the Bible. Hello, FBK, uh, Sunday edition, right? I will read to you my assigned verse, and it's found in Acts 26, 27 to 28. It says, King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know you do. Agrippa interrupted, do you know? Do you think you can persuade me quickly to become a Christian so quickly? Now, let me give you some context. Now, this is when Paul was testifying in front of um, the king about um, yung defense po niya. He, he um, explained how he was a member of the Pharisees and suddenly Jesus um, showed himself to him in a bright light. And... And after that also, um, he testified how he had a vision from heaven. And he started preaching to Damascus, then to Jerusalem, and throughout Judea and Gentiles. And the Jews tried to arrest and kill him because he was preaching the good news, right? Now, he was actually just testifying about his relationship with Jesus Christ. And he told them... Um, that the Messiah would suffer and be the first to rise from the dead, and in this way announce God's light to the Jews and Gentiles alike. Now it was notice in verse twenty four it says, suddenly Festus shouted, one of the part of the kings, another ba si Festus. Sabi niya, Paul, you are insane. Too much study has made you crazy. And sabi niya, uh, Paul replied, I am not insane, most excellent Festus. What I'm saying is the sober truth. And King Agrippa knows about these things. I spoke boldly, for I am sure these events are all familiar to him, for they were not done in a corner. Now, this is something that we have to understand. Now, when we begin to testify about the Lord Jesus Christ, not everybody's going to just accept our message, right? Because when you speak the truth, people will think you're crazy. Why is these people so Jesus fanatic, right? Why is these people so excited about God? And then they're going to begin to call names. Like, why, you know, na ano na yan, na, na amen, amen na yan, naging crazy na yan for Jesus. And, and uh, they're not balanced and all this stuff. But listen, um, when you begin to have the, the mind of Christ and you begin to have the perspective of the Bible, people will not always agree, right? There will always be some people that will, um, they will detest, they will detest what you're saying. Just like, just like the, is the, the Egypt, right? When uh, when Moses wanna when Moses told Pharaoh, "Let my people go," God said, "Let my people go, that they may worship me in the wilderness." Sabi ni Pharaoh, "Let them worship here." And sabi naman ni Moses, "No, because when they start worshiping God, it's gonna be detestable to the Egyptians, and they might stone us." And that's what happened. If you love Jesus Christ, the world will hate you. People will think you're crazy, like this guy. Sabi niya. You know, he's crazy. He's gone crazy. Too much study. He's crazy. You know, and then sabi naman ni Paul, most excellent Festus, I'm not insane. What I'm saying is the truth. Amen. We have the truth. We have the gospel. When we begin to stand for what is right and what is what the Bible says, people are not always going to agree. The world will always going to oppose you and hate you. But what, what, what's, great, what's great about this is when he told King Agrippa, King Agrippa, you know, I believe you believe the prophets. And Agrippa said, do you think you can persuade me to become a Christian so quickly? This is our job, to persuade people about Christ. And they might not accept it right away. They might think you're crazy. They might say, you know what, he's gone insane. He got too fanatic. But you and I know that we have the sober truth. We're saying, uh, we're not insane. What we have is the truth. And you have to stand for what is true. Amen. You got to have faith. Believe God. And the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. And Moses, you know, by faith, refused to be called the child of Pharaoh's daughter. Right? But he chose to suffer with the affliction of men. It have been, the faith was able to let him look beyond and past the hurts, past the suffering, and look for the eternal reward. Amen. So don't give up, soldier. Amen. Let's continue to fight the good fight of faith. Let's continue to be strong and don't be scared. Amen. Don't be um, a coward, right? But let's have faith. That will move mountain. Don't be afraid when people oppose you, talk bad about you, talk negative, think you're crazy. 
No, we have the sober truth. And in Jesus' name, we pray that we would continue to be strong in our faith and will continue to stand for what is right. Father, we thank you. I ask Holy Spirit, you continue to minister to us in the book of Acts. We'll have the boldness like the disciples, that even if we're in front of anyone, Lord, we will not be, um, be cowards, but we will stand for what is right. We will hold on to the truth and be bold for testifying that the Messiah, the gospel, is what everybody needs. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.